Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you, Bidot, to invite me to join this forum. Today, I would like to present the extension of grass production in uh, for Delhi Farm. This is the project under uh, the small order Delhi development program support uh, by FAO. My name is Amphod Valititam. I come from Lampang Animal Nutrition Research and Development Center, Department of Livestock Development. Before we start this uh, project, we have uh, made a survey and talk with the farmer in the Northern Thailand. What is your main problem? And 100%, they said that the first priority problem is uh, we have not enough fodder or rough fish. And uh, this problem is caused the several negative effect for daily cows, such as uh, low production performance, reproductive problem and overall health problem because uh, love fat in Thailand is generally is low quality. The protein content in concentrate for the postpartum cow should be as high as 24% protein. But commercial feed in Thailand normally we have uh, 16, 18 and 21% protein. Improving the concentrate feed is, is in uh, increased production cost, therefore improving the love fish comp component is necessary for three months uh, postpartum cow should be fed by good quality love fish, not rice store because it has low nutrient content and low digestibility. Department of Livestock Development would recommend uh, the daily farmer to make their own pasture with spe uh, special high yield and high yield class variety. We also encourage the non-dairy farm to produce a good quality grass to sell to the farmer because some dairy farmer they have uh, sometimes they have no time or sometimes they have uh, no land. We propose the extension of grass production for dairy farm project. The aim of uh, this project to solve the problem of insufficient love fish in small dairy farms to encourage farmer to grow grass on their own farm and to encourage supplier to grow and sell grass to daily farm in enough amount and uh, reasonable price. Uh, this project uh, conducted by Lampang Animal Nutrition Research and Development Center, the project period is three years from uh, January uh, 12 to uh, March 14. The target, uh, we have 500 daily and class production farmer in the following area in Chai Pakan, Delhi Cooperative, in Chiang Mai, Delhi Cooperative, in Lam Poon, in Pa Teng Hui Mo, and one group of farmer who contact with TK Delhi Coal Company. The project will support the class stock for 500 farmer for total area of 1,000 rai, with uh, two rai for each farmer. This project, we have uh, four activities. The first one is a uh, workshop on, on grass cultivation to teach uh, how to manage the pasture for the uh, have an easy way to cut and weeding and harvesting for, for their, their own cattle. The second activity is supporting grass stock from our stock bank. And the third one is mobile service for daily farm. And the fourth one is demonstration of small unit biogas and water pump by biogas bio in energy for 10 daily farm, farmer fuel school. We recommend uh, Napier Pak Chong Wan, which have a high yield and high protein. Protein content of uh, this kind of gas is about 11 to 18% in diameter basis, and uh, the yield is very really high. It's both uh, about 400 37 ton per hectare per year. We cut uh, every two months and one year we can cut six times. The first activity, we, we make a work, workshop uh, on grass cultivation. We divide uh, into two steps, uh, first year and second year. First year we already done for uh, 250 farmers. We made a one-day course and that 
uh, training uh, area is in cooperative or in some meeting room uh, close to the farmer. And training method, we have a lecture, de demonstration and practice. This is the schedule. In the morning, we have uh, lecture in the room, and in, in the afternoon, we have uh, practice uh, in the field. This is uh, the picture of uh, our workshop for five uh, cooperative. We have a small, uh, not more than 50 farmers in one group, and we, we teach them how to introduce them for the class and teach them how to cultivate the class. And in the afternoon, we bring some samples and make the demonstration uh, pasture and teach them. And we also, we also make the calendar uh, for cultivation, because if we fix the date for culti uh, cultivate, we have to count down uh, two months before uh, cultivate. We ha they have to make a third prouding. And before third prouding, they have to make a second and first prouding. We have to count down and we have to remind the farmer, don't forget to uh, prepare your land. And the second activity, we support our class uh, from our stock bank. The principle is uh, similar to Mr. Bolin. Uh, he passing the gift, but we passing the class. We also, the, the, farm, uh, the farmer, uh, when they get two ton of class stock, they have a duty to give this two ton to another farmer. When another farmer asks to the LD, we need uh, two ton of class, you don't need to come to my, my uh, uh, center, you just go to, uh, to your neighbor who join our program. After that, you have to uh, give this two ton to the other farmer also. And FAO just uh, kick off uh, the, the first uh, class stock for, for the farmer. Uh, before we start everything, we have to build up the uh, stock bank. We have to uh, prepare the soil and make the uh, dripping system. And, and uh, we have a really good quality stock for delivery to, delivery to, to farmer. In the growing season, we start to cut and deliver to, to the farmer. We just bring to the meal collection center and the farmer will uh, distribute to their own area. This is the cost and income of one lie of uh, Napier pasture. Uh, in the first year, the farmer have to spend around uh, 23,000 baht for, for one lie and they can get uh, 30,000 baht back if we calculate one kilo of cloud is one baht. And they have the net income around uh, 6,000 baht. This is the first year. For the second year, they don't need uh, to uh, prepare the soil and the water system. The production cost just uh, 3,000 baht, and they can get 100% uh, yield. The first year, normally, the this kind of card will give only, I, I, I calculate, just 50% of uh, production yield. For the second and the third year, they get uh, at least 60 ton per rye per year, and they can get uh, 57,000 baht. This is one rye, and FAO uh, have a plan for 1,000 one rye. You can, can uh, multiply by 1,000. And I just uh, asked the money from FAO, just three billion baht. And you see the uh, result of uh, this project. And the third activity, we have a, a mobile service. To encourage the farmer build up their own pasture, we need to monitoring and guide them more frequent. Did you plow the soil already? Did you weed, weeding, make a weeding already? We have to visit them several times. And after that, we. We, make, uh, we take a sam sample of trust and send to our central lab in, in Patum Thani. And we analyze for the nutrient composition of our class. And we uh, send the data back to the farmer. Now you have uh, a good feed, uh, better than rice straw or natural grass. You can reduce your concentrate. You don't need to expend a lot of uh, money by uh, give the same amount of uh, concentrate. This can save money for the farmer a lot. This is uh, our monitoring last two months after one or two months of uh, growing season. This is uh, 
the pasture of a uh, farmer in in Patung Hoi Mo that uh, Mr. Maka will visit uh, in next week. You will visit uh, this area. And the fourth activity, we are going to set up the biogas, the small plastic biogas unit for 10 Delhi Farm Field School. And this biogas will be used for run the pump, water pump, and the water pump will uh, watering their own pasture. This is just a demonstration unit for uh, two to farm in each cooperative. After that, when the farmers have seen the result, they can invest by themselves. It's not so so expensive. They can invest by, by themselves. This is uh, our, our activity for the extension program. Thank you for your attention.